Three rings, each of mass m and radius r, are arranged as shown in the figure. The moment of inertia of the system about y, y dash will be. Here we are having a question from the chapter, Rotational Dynamics. And to solve this question, we have to apply the concept of moment of inertia and apply parallel axis theorem also. Okay, so let's see how to do here this question. We have three rings here and each ring is having a radius r and a mass capital M. Okay, so we are supposed to find out the moment of inertia about the axis y, y dash. Now, we know that with respect to a ring, the moment of inertia about an axis perpendicular to it and passing through its center is mr square and about its diameter it is mr square by 2. So one thing is very clear from here. For this ring, I'll call it 1. For the first ring, this axis is actually passing through its diameter itself. So you don't need to apply any parallelizer theorem or anything here to determine the moment of inertia of this ring about y y dash. Okay. But for this ring number 2 and ring number 3, we have to find out what is the moment of inertia about the y y dash axis first. Then only we can proceed to find out the net moment of inertia about y y dash. Okay. Now, this distance is actually capital R. Again, this is also capital R. Fine. So, taking the ring 2 into account, I can write the moment of inertia of the ring 2 about the axis y y dash will be equal to by applying parallel axis theorem we get ICM plus mx squared. This is a general formula. So, ICM means the moment of inertia about an axis passing through the center of mass and here along the diameter, which means that is mr square by 2 plus m into x square. x is actually the perpendicular distance between these two parallel axes and that is here r. So m r square. So this will be 3 by 2 m r square. Right? Now from the figure it is very clear that i2 for the ring 2 and for the ring 3 the moment of inertia about the y y dash axis will be the same. Right? So for the ring 3 also I3 is also equal to, by applying parallel axis theorem, 3 by 2 mr square. Okay. So, we can find out the total moment of inertia. I about y, y dash will be equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Or that will be equal to, the first thing it is, mr square by 2. Okay. Here, y, y dash is already passing through its axis, center of, uh, axis passing through its center of mass. So, plus 3 by 2 m r square plus 3 by 2 m r square, I can write it as 6 m r square by 2. 6 m r square by 2 or this is equal to what? 7 m r square by 2. So, the answer is 7 m r square by 2. I hope this question is clear for you. Okay, so the option D is the answer for this. Clear? Thank you.